30 minute workout for you, total body, a lot of loop band work today. So, and I'll give you some options to add in a weight where we have the option to do so, but uh, that will be completely optional just to uh, add, a, just add an additional challenge if you want to add a weight. So, loop band exercises, six of them. We're going to start with um, the bands above our knees. We're going to hold a chair hold, pressing our knees out, right? And then we're going to lateral tap to our one side, pressing our seat back with those bands on in place. Then we're going to take those loop bands around our wrists. We're going to bear crawl. Okay, so those, uh, we want to be keeping our, our hands still shoulder width apart. My shins are parallel to the floor. I'm going to walk forward, and then back. Okay, whatever you've got space for, you can go around in a circle if you want. That makes it more entertaining for you. But loop bands around the wrist for a bear crawl. Then we've got hip bridge to heels. So this is one optional. You can grab a weight and put it on your hip bones if you'd like. If not, body weight will do. You're going to press onto your shoulder blades. Press your hips up to the ceiling and tap it out to your heels. Put back in again, keeping your seat lifted up off the floor. Okay, you can add that challenge weight if you'd like. Then we'll be back on our feet for stars. So that's again loop bands. They can go around the wrist or I like them around my thumbs just so they don't snap up my arms. Uh, but on stars, you're gonna go, you can go diagonally across. You can change up that motion. But think about when you do that motion, okay, when I do it correctly, let's see if I can, when I do it correctly, I can feel my shoulder blade pulling toward the back. What I don't want is just an arm motion where you're just pivoting or you're hinging like here. Okay, the hinge should be back here, squeezing out and back to the center. Then we've got reverse lunge to a single leg hinge. So that will, will be no band. You can grab uh, sets of dumbbells if you'd like. Kick one single leg back for the lunge. Hinging forward on that same leg. Okay, optional dumbbells here. And then we will end with tricep push-ups. So we'll be on the mat on our side. Uh, I'm going to fold my knees and you're pressing onto this one hand, really squeezing that tricep as you push yourself up. Okay, we'll get our timer started. Get your loop bands <clears throat> above your knees. Loop bands above your knee. We're going to start in that chair hold with a single lateral tap. 30 minutes on the clock. Music is going. Here we go. Go. Single side. Okay, so trying to do things this thing this week since I have my Wednesday night class tomorrow at church in Fayetteville. Uh, wanted to get this recording out to you straight. And uh, I had pretty light attendance Wednesday morning, so I think 6.40 is too late for a lot of people. So you're switching sides now. Wednesday, 6.40 a.m. It's too late for most people and, you know, before that I've forgotten, so. I'm trying this out, recording this week to see if many people will use it. And if so, I can keep it up. Great. <clears throat> Round three. Go. Don't let that seat come up. Keep pressing up, down. Great. Go. Go. Great. All right, one more. 
for each side. Go. Good job. Press low, press low. text more and tell her I'm talking about her because she might come to class live tomorrow and not ever watch this video. Round four. Go. 
If you want a hip bridge weight, you can grab that. Ooh. You can grab that hip bridge weight if you'd like it. And then down to the mat. Ooh. All right, we've got frog crunches and then penguins. So frog crunches, if you remember, I'm in boat and just drawing those knees toward my chest, tapping my heels. Here comes my crew, home from soccer. Good job. Keep crunching. You got this, 20 seconds. I know these are hard. These are hard, almost there. 10. Okay, okay, bend your knees. Penguins, side to side. Good work. All right, our next exercise, we've got about 25 seconds here, keep penguining. But our next exercise, if you've got that weight, that'll go on your hip bones or on your belly. Uh, we're gonna press into our heels, lift our seats off the ground, and then we're gonna tap those heels out until we're pressing up suspended like a little arch on our heels and shoulder blades, seats off the ground. Great, oops, sorry, flat voice. All right, get that weight on your hips if you'd like, but otherwise do it body weight, press that seat up. Tap out to your heels and then walk it back. Okay, I'm holding that weight so it doesn't roll. Break. I'll apologize now for your hip bruises if that happens. Go. Woo, keep it up. Literally, keep your seat up. Right. All right, let's try an experiment here. This is round three. You're just gonna press onto your heels. Your knees aren't bent anymore. And you're pressing your hip bridge up and holding. I still hold here in that low bridge, low hip bridge. Good, good, good. Sorry, I'm all, all black, so you can't see, but see my hand goes under my seat. Great. Woo! All right, back to walking. All right, press on your heels. Go, tap those heels out. So I have this really great woman on my team. I've got a lot of great, I've got a lot of great people on my team for sure. Um, but one woman who really speaks her mind like I do. So go. So I like that in a person. And <laughs> today we were talking about the transition and you know my being in a uh, like I, I took a different leadership role in the past six months. So we were talking about how that must feel like a big change to people. Great. All right, our last one, we're going to press up into that low bridge hold, low hip bridge. 
Press on your heels and shoulder blades go. And her words were that, that I was a, little, a shock to the system, she said. In a good way, in a good way. I like that phrase. I'm pretty sure she's not the only person that feels that way. Good work. All right. We've got boat rocks. So remember, this is my yacht rock. So low boat hold. And you're going to rock back to your shoulder blades, up to your seat. You can tap your heels, but just ever so quickly. Hold your core taut. Okay, remember, not momentum here. Well, a little momentum that you're holding your core. Good work. 15 seconds. You got rocking. And we've got leg races. I'm going to put myself, I'm going to put my head into that wall back there. All right, leg raises. Both toes, those arms out. Woo! Gosh, my belly is white. Okay, that's okay. It's okay, it's just us. Just us here. Good work, 20 seconds. Ten. All right, when we get back to our feet, we're going to grab that loop band. We've got those stars. All right, on your feet. Ooh. On your feet. Go.
You can rest assured if we are on our feet, great, and only working our back and shoulders, so we'll have a little lower body cardio coming up. Go. All right, so last one here. Now we're gonna stay on our feet. Low impact cardio. Woo. Great. All right. You're gonna sumo. We're gonna start with a sumo pulse. Get your feet wide, toes out, knees out, drop low. All right, hang out here a minute. Not really a minute, a little bit, some seconds. Sway that booty if you'd like. Pass the time. Hmm. Good work. Halfway there on this one. Well, you know, halfway ish. More to come. More to come. Good job. I had a really good meal prep week, too, in addition to not having key lime pie in my fridge. And I had a really good long run last weekend, so that was puts me in good spirits. Now it's hotter than heck again. All right, we are going to pulse, or we're going to sumo squat knee up. Okay. Squat, squat, spider man D. to grab two dumbbells for this next one, reverse lunge to a single leg hinge, right? Okay. All right, stay to one side. Go. Reverse lunge. Up for a forward fold. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good job, keep reaching for those toes. All right, heel taps. Bend those knees. Press the lower back into the mat. Don't let it creep up. Don't let it arch. Yahoo. Good work. We're coming into our finish. Big finish with our tricep push ups. We love to hate them. So do I, but. Strong, strong, strong core. Go, go, go. Great. All right, to your side. Remember that underarm is going to wrap across your belly. And that top arm is going to go on the mat. Okay, you're pressing upper body, squeezing that tricep. Great, good, flip. Go. Ugh. Good work, squeeze that tricep. Great. Round three. Go. You can always flip over to a regular push up on your knees against the wall. Now four. Go. Great. One more each side. 
I know that feels like I feels like I tricked you, or maybe it's just me. I promise you this is only round five, not round 15. Ooh. I mean, how heavy can my torso even be? It feels like very heavy. Ugh, break, lift, last one. Great, good work. All right, stretch it out. You can take one arm across your body. Oops. Take that guy off. There he is. Take one arm across your body. Other side. All right, push your elbow over your head. A deep tricep stretch. Other side. Good, reach your fingertips up. Press up into a goal post. Draw those elbows down toward your sides. Roll, gently roll your neck. Shake your head no. Shake your head yes. Good, good. Butterfly those knees out. If you were like me and stayed seated on the floor, natural progression. All right, step your feet apart. Then you forward a hamstring stretch. Other side. In the center. Going to bring those feet together. Let's just finish off with the spinal twist here. So cross one foot over the other knee, elbow that knee, twist around. Feel that in your hip, through your spine. Please stretch out your feet. Also, your other leg, spinal twist. Good work. Happy hump day. See you soon.